What's up guys, and welcome back to another exciting adventure in the game of Typewriter, where you play as two lonely Corlins. Let's get it on. That didn't go. What's this? So, uh, we're gonna have to go we're to this next level here. It's, uh, did it? And I have no idea what that means. Wait. Whoa, whoa, better. Hopefully, there's music. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, B. And I died. Great. In the 17th century, the royal censorship and persecution of the Counter Reformation leads to a slowdown of the production of written works in France. And many printers, engravers, and publishers are forced to flee the country. In 1640, Louis, Louis XIII found the Imperial Royal and recruits printers from the Netherlands to constitute its first team. His, his son, Louis the 14th orders the Science Academy to develop a special typeface that is based on the mathematics as opposed to imitation handwriting and is reserved entirely for the Imprimeur Royal in the effort to complete compete with the princes from the rest of Europe. Based on the science of the Academy results, the engravers of the Imperi Royal create a typeface that is called Romain du Rôle, or Roman of the King which authenticates all of its documents thereafter, its vertical geometric construction, and notable contrast between thick and thin strokes distinguish it from preceding types. Interesting. Let's get out of here. Get it, get it. Oh, we got the D. For disabled. Drop the go up and down. F. G for giraffe. And. We'll have to get the and. Hey, we got the and. <laughs> Let's jump, jump, jump. Hello! Columns! I don't know what letter that was. H. Jump, 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 jump. jump. Aw, oh, come on. And we got a jump, jump, jump. Oh yeah, lots of letters. Don't fall, don't fall. There we go. That's a big ass ball. Oh yeah, John Baskerville. John Baskerville. In the 18th century, the answer of that is weighed on publishers on Britain gradually subsides and leads to further developments in printing. Around 1720, William Castlon created a typeface that is influenced by the Dutch characters in that use in the time, which will take his name, the <laughs> Castlon and become immediate popular. John Baskerville, a fellow printer and type tip 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 typograph tip tip typographer continues the work of Caslon in 1750 Oh no He 
He partners with John Handy, another Taipei designer, and opens a print shop. Baskerville has a major hand in all aspects of his creations, develops new ink, which is very densely which is very dense, hereby allowing for more intense colors as well as the use of paper that is, is smoother and previously used. Along handy, Baskerville attempts to improve Catherine's font and legibly by increasing the contrast between thick and thin throat and making the serif sharper, tapered, and more vertical. The first book to take advantage of the Baskerville font is the edition of the Rowan Poet Virgil in 1757. Baskerville is appointed printer to the Vinger. <coughs> Baskerville's appointed print to the University of Cambridge in 1758. His characters impresses contemporaries as well as the American diplomat Benjamin Franklin, who takes a copy of the font with him when he returns to the United States. These types of very successful overseas in which are adopted for official publications of the federal government. In fact, that's further editions of the Congratulations of Independence, July 4th, and the Constitution of the United States, 1787, are printed using Caslon and Baskerville's typeface. Great. Oh, I wonder what this is. Whoa, what just happened? Boom, 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 We got this. Come on. Blow that whistle. Oh, no, we we'll have to go back. And go this way. Jump. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's open this bitch. Haha. -ha. Oh yeah. Let's get out of here. Go. Get out. No. Oh jeez. Don't you die! There we go. You are... <coughs> yes. Oh yeah. Is it me or the music getting louder? It's probably getting louder. We did it, did it. <laughs> well, uh, that's it for now. If you like anything in this video, you can help support our channel by clicking the like and share buttons below. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any suggestions about what to play next in my future videos, I'll leave that in the comment section below too. And until next time, this is JRLXS signing off. Thanks for watching. Peace. Let's go.